Hey YouTube, doing another video on the Intel Compute Stick um, and doing some Steam at home streaming. Obviously not playing Witcher 3 locally. Um, I will say this, uh, the Compute Stick is in performance mode. It's using an, uh, a USB hub that's attached to it via the, the single USB port that it has. It is a powered hub. It has a number of peripherals attached to it and one of those peripherals is a USB to Ethernet port. Um, Steam at home streaming for me at least has been terrible on Wi-Fi. Not even really possible. Um, so I'm using the Ethernet uh, jack and it's, 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 it's not bad at all. So uh, I do have a pretty robust Wi-Fi setup in my house. I have a enterprise grade Cisco access point and um, all my devices have full signal and for some reason this Intel compute stick cannot get decent throughput. It's terrible. So hence it's why I'm using the Ethernet port. So it may be kind of a cheat. Um, you know, if you're sitting, if it's behind a TV, don't don't expect to do any kind of steam in-home streaming unless you got an Ethernet. Uh, you know, it's, unless it's wired behind the TV for Ethernet, uh, Cat 6 or Cat 5e, whatever. So anyways, just wanted to show some uh, steam in-home streaming on The Witcher 3. Um, with the Ethernet attached, it's it's a constant 60 frames per second. I got it running on my uh, on my main PC at uh, 1080p, high settings, um, and it's pretty much a constant 60. You can definitely tell that the uh, the video is being a little um, it's a little little grainy. You can tell it's it's obviously being decoded on the fly, but it's actually very playable. Um, looking at the stats in the left-hand corner, you can't see them because they're obviously very small, but my ping time is 2.44 milliseconds up to 3.44 milliseconds or so. My um, frame loss is less than 1%, or I'm sorry, it's jumping up to about 1.34% now, but still very low. Um, I am using the, uh, the NVBC uh, encoder, hardware-based NVIDIA encoder on my GTX 780. Um, and then the Intel Compute Stick is using the uh, the DXVA decoder. It's a uh, GPU-based decoder, Microsoft-based GPU decoder, and uh, it does a pretty good job. Now, these the Z3735F SOC does not have Intel Quick Sync, so um, can't use Quick Sync. But still, or even regardless, it, it still does a decent job just with the the DXVA decoder. So no complaints there. If I was to turn on uh, my on-screen display, um, you'll obviously be able to see the frame rate, but the CPU usage uh, for the compute stick is, is not very high, obviously. GPU usage is, uh, is up there. Obviously, it's, it's, it's decoding the video, so um, it's not really running hot. It's you know jumping up to 60, uh, 620 megahertz, and CPU... Uh, core clocks are you know below a gigahertz, so it's not really doing a whole lot on the CPU side. But the GPU, it's getting a little bit of a workout. But uh, regardless, the temps are very good on the compute stick. So, um, assuming you have a good Wi-Fi connection, um, not sorry, not good Wi-Fi connection. Assuming you have Ethernet, um, you can use this as a good Steam and home streaming device. I have a, a Zotac Pico, and it does a great job with Steam and home streaming. But again, it's wired. I got an Ethernet Cat 5e run to it, so... Um, this, again, going back to Wi-Fi on this stick, it's terrible, so I hate to keep repeating myself, but it's really that bad, so don't expect to do any kind of Steam and home streaming with it. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, The Witcher 3. Uh, again, looking back at the specs down here on the, on the lower left, Latency, I'm sorry, ping time is about 2.0 to 2.8 milliseconds. Um, and packet loss is still below 1%. Um, it's relatively very good. And this is this is extremely playable. I would have no problems playing this um, at all. So want to show off some Steam at Home streaming with the Intel Compute Stick uh, using wired Ethernet. Alright, thanks for checking out the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.